Hello, super nerd friends. It's Becky. Um, I'm back at my house. Uh, yes, much like you, Alexis. Although, I'm only here for a couple days. Well, you might not be there long, either. I'm sorry that's kind of rough with your mom. And things. Um, but, yeah, it'd be nice if they gave you a bit of a break. Like, I'm on break, that's kind of nice. Um, so, but that's not gonna last very long. Things will move along. And, yeah, getting an apartment with your, with your sister wouldn't be so bad. Who says it has to be in Moses Lake? Although, if you want to see your family. Yeah, hopefully. I have confidence that you will work out an arrangement where you can hang out with your family. And have a job and not pay too much for rent and everyone will be happy. So, and hopefully you'll, you'll like the job, too. Um, yeah. It'll work out. I know things take a while sometimes. But, woohoo, I did get your package, and it's, it was your letter. And, see, I, I didn't want to write too much to... Did I write something to you, Haley? I think, I think like I did, like on uh, Think Geek, I think I typed in something. But I didn't want to say <laughs> too much because I felt that that was cheating. And then Alexis, you went and wrote a whole novel. And it's, it's <laughs> that was like the most, uh, ama definitely the, I can't, it meant a lot to me. And it's what the most amazing thing anyone's ever said to me, and I say that jokingly a lot, but it was, um, so thanks, uh, very, very much, um, it gives me a lot of confidence in myself, uh, which is something I don't have all the time, so, um, yeah, so without making this too mushy, thanks you guys both, uh, <laughs> and maybe I'll, I'll write to you sometime, if we're allowed to do that now, mm-hmm. Or maybe I'll just wait till our year is up, because it's almost up. June? May? I don't know. One of those months. Um, yeah. And then, so. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Alexis. And also for, I'll try to find a really good use for it and fill up the pages. Um, I'll, and it, I didn't, I didn't bring that, but it was River Song's journal, and so I didn't bring that with me, but. And I was worried for the past, like, couple of months because I thought you sent that a while ago. <laughs> I was like, I hope that didn't get lost in the mailing system somewhere. Uh, Haley, I, I can't remember what you said in your video, and your your video title isn't descriptive enough for me to <laughs> glean any uh, information from that. Um, were you talking about schools? Yes, your your major. Uh cool. <laughs> Sorry. Um I was trying really hard to not eat sugar. I was trying really, really hard and then dinner last night um uh was like some casserole and the soup had sugar in it, so I'm like, Well, okay. The salad dressing had sugar in it and the cranberries had sugar in them. Eh. Nah, it's still not so bad. It's still a fairly healthy meal. And then we went and watched Wreck-It Ralph. And I was so excited for Wreck-It Ralph, and I couldn't take it. There's too much of that movie takes place in Sugar Rush. And I couldn't... <laughs> so I ate a whole container of ice cream. And some trail mix. It was really bad. I just need to stop eating after 9 o'clock, and I would lose so much weight. If only I could do that. So, uh, but that's really hard. Maybe I should just start exercising. Anyway, I had a few things that I wanted to do whilst at home on my break. The biggest one was build a robot. But I got to watching Through the Wormhole and reading this, which Haley, you read a bit, um, that one summer, um, and I'm really loving theoretical physics. Like, I, I only read the introduction of this book, and, like, I just had to stop and think about it for, like, 
two hours, and most of those two hours were me sleeping. But then I started watching, and I just watched, like, I spent my whole day today, so far, watching videos on YouTube, but I watched them all on the Super Nerd Friends channel. And darn, <laughs> now, I, now I don't have that history in my, in my history, of history, but it was Vsauce, because apparently he's really popular, and so he's just recommended for us on Super Nerd Friends. So I watched a ton of Vsauce, and I learned something about the human subconscious, and I took a quiz, or a survey thing, and I am a, I forget the first two words, um, and then higher thought Buddhist. No, the first two words were like dual, um, duality, um, something, um, but there are way too many options for what consciousness is, um, not that that's related to physics, although I think it is, um, and, uh, the, the last episode of, of, um, Through the Wormhole that I watched was, um, what was before the Big Bang, and that doesn't really mean much to me, because that's asking the question, what was there before time, and I don't think, that's more of a philosophical question, although then you get into the definition of time, which is interesting and relativity, and how that's actually very practical and used in our GPSs. Um, but what was before the Big Bang? I don't really care. <laughs> um, because, well, I think there was something before the Big Bang, because I think the universe is way bigger than we can imagine! And I don't, I don't know if there are ten dimensions, or eleven dimensions, or four dimensions, I don't know. Um, I don't really know why we're so keen on finding these things out when there are much more practical things that we could be doing with our lives, which is why I'm kind of but at the same time, uh, in that introduction they're like, we don't know the origin of life, you know, why did life start? That, I think, is fascinating, and I think, um, I, I, I think I could spend my life trying to research that, and I'm sure many, many people have tried to answer that question. But that's kind of what let me to, you know, what's the subconscious. Um, and what, you know, what makes humans different from animals. Approaching that from a physics pr perspective is really fascinating, and I don't even know what- there's so much more I need to know. But anyway, just knowing a lot more about quantum theory and relativity, and time, and gluons and quarks, and, uh, really small stuff, and string theory. Um, I think I could really, really get into that, so. But it's not all that, eh, but I would, like, have to have some useful application, because when you get that small nanotechnology, does nanotechnology rely on physics a lot? Mm. <laughs> so, so, but I'm, I'm kind of glad, I mean, I'll be taking physics next quarter, but I'll also be taking, like, economics and sustainability. It's kind of, like, a more rounded um, immediately applicable to society type thing, um, but I think I would like to start with physics for my, um, career, and I thought it wouldn't be so bad to, to teach upper-level physics courses at a university and do research in phys- I would love to spend my life doing research, um, and I haven't felt that way before because I've, I've felt that I will really want to solve a problem, but I think in research, I would just have to have a goal in mind, like, yes, this research will help make the world a better place in the future. But I can't be too, no one, can, we can't be too lofty with that, like, what was before the Big Bang, because that's, we're never, we're not going to achieve that, but we don't want to, we don't want to rule out stuff. I don't, I don't even know what I'm saying in this video, I just, I want to do this video now. Well, I, I didn't want to do it now, because I wanted to do it later, after I built my robot, so I could show you my robot, and I started talking about the robot, because I was, was going to build a robot. But then I got wrapped up in this, um, theoretical physics, and I've read a ton of articles now, and so I got distracted from building my robot, and, um, it's interesting, because, like, I just finished statics, and in statics I was like, yes, engineering, so I wanted, I want to do mechanical engineering, that'd be awesome, build stuff, and now I'm like, boring, let's do theoretical physics. But, I don't know, I'm not completely in love with theoretical physics. I think I would just have to have, have to find a really cool subset 
of that. Something really cool to research. And to find that, I think I'd have to go to a really cool, a really good university that I really want to go to. And, um, gosh, finances. Ugh. Um, but, so I'm doing this now, so I, because I, uh, I'm mostly procrastinating on hanging out with my neighbor, because she was out washing the car, and I hadn't had a shower. Now I have had a shower, but now I'm, don't want to hang out. I do want to hang out with her, but I am procrastinating. I procrastinate, most of the things I procrastinate on are things I actually want to do. Like, I actually do enjoy doing homework. I just, um, I don't, I don't know where this video's gone. Sorry. Um, yeah, so talking about classes. Talking about, hmm, theoretical physics is super cool. But at the same time, it's, like, really, really intimidating, because the people who, they're talking about, like, brain, brain, was it, like, brain theory, where, like, our universe is a membrane. It's not, it's not kind of brain, it's a brain short for membrane, so it's, like, membrane theory. But, like, our universe is but a membrane in tenth dimensional space. It's just, like, a two-dimensional membrane. And it's, it's like, a rectangle. And the Big Bang, the Big Bang, with it colliding with another membrane, and now they're bouncing apart. And it's going to take a trillion years, like, between... And so, like, all of the, the 11 dimensions is, like, a, 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 a snake, a, a three-dimensional snake thing of all these planes of universes lined up. And I fully believe that there are other universes. And that... But I also believe that, um... See? That's exactly what it is. It doesn't matter what I believe. That, that means nothing. Like... And I, now, the faith is just really, so I can't, I really, I can't mention theoretical physics to my mom, because she's like, <laughs> I'm like, what was, what was the origin of life? And she's like, God made it. <laughs> God made everything when he wanted us to, when he, when he wanted to. And I'm like, yeah, but how did he do that? <laughs> That's what science is. And she's like, no, 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 science, psh, all, ugh, so, so, because I can choose to believe something, and there, I have little conceptions and little beliefs on, you know, what what it is that makes people different, what, you know, how, and little ideas, and most of these are probably formed from, like, watching videos in biology class. Um, that's <laughs> mostly what's shaped my views of how I think life on Earth started. <laughs> um, and I... I've come to the realization that it's, it, it's kind of possible to, well, it's possible to know a lot, a lot more than I do. I don't have, no one has to go on faith on anything, because we can know, and we can't know everything. But why would you, why would you choose to believe something when you could know? And, and, but people, people do believe things, and that's cool, because we can't know everything. So you have to believe some things, I suppose. Mm, this was a lot better in my head. Hold on. Um, so if you do believe something, and you find out that's not true, how would you, how would you approach that? How would you feel? Would you would you ignore? Or I guess there's different levels of proof. Mm, but beliefs to me are just uh, uh, theories that, um, and, and the truth would be so much better than a, a, a belief in a theory, right? The truth would be better than believing in a, in a non-truth, right? So like, oh, God created the universe, that's cool to believe, but, oh no, the universe is actually created by d d d something. That's way cooler than just believing that some puppet master created things, right? Um, so uh, the truth, is the truth. Truth to our three-dimensional understanding. Psh, there's no hope for any of this. Theoretical physics is... Psh, psh, what? What? But the universe apparently operates on math, and we can we can do some math, so let's try. Ah, never mind. I, I'm completely conflicted on all of this. Uh... What it... Anyway. Cool. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go read something about the history of time. I, I don't have my glasses on, so I can't even find where the pause button. Adios, super nerd friends. I, I hope to talk to you. I'll, 
I always think that I'll call you guys. Adios. I don't know, even know how long this video is. I'm really sorry. Bye.